welcome back to my channel this is a review for this wig that I'm wearing and the wig this wig is a Freetress equal invisible L part wig and the name of this unit is called Kitty I have her in the OMBR which is ombre red I really really love this wig yeah the color is um, OMBR because it's burgundy on the top and as you can see it's red on the bottom So, I thought that was pretty. I'm going to turn around and let you see the wig. And I also wanted to take the time. This is how the wig comes out of the packet. The only thing I did is took it out of the packaging. Okay, the inside of this wig um, has two combs. And then here is the L shape, which you can cut and have your own leave out or you can just leave it like that. And then the back of the wig has the traditional um, drawstrings um, that you can adjust with the comb in the back. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's different, um, I show how to, I mean, I showed the concealer in the last video, but I didn't show, okay, this time in this video, I'm gonna show how the part looks before putting concealer on it. So you can be able to see the difference between having concealer on it and not having concealer on it and I'm also gonna put the pomade on it and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks right out of the box and I'm gonna do my tweaking on camera so you can see it this part in my opinion don't look like scalp <laughs> and um I'm not sure about how I feel about the back yet but it said you can curl it I may curl it I don't know but I absolutely love the color it's so light on my head after trying the um, Freakers Equal um, Blackjack, and I'll link that review at the bottom, I really enjoyed that. Um, I just wished it was a little bit longer, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I thought I was gonna have to feather it because I thought it was like too much of a contrast. I was gonna put more feathers in here, but now that I have it on my head, I actually like it like this because I normally don't like bangs. I normally like to be able to swoop like that and I notice when I have a bang I end up or sh anything shorter up in this area I end up tucking it behind my ears anyway so I thought it'd be good like this because I have more room to tuck so what I'm gonna do now is take you through some of the steps that I use to make this wig look more natural here's the concealer you can use any concealer um, near your scalp color normally a shade or two lighter I'm using a Maybelline Fit Cafe in the color 30 on the looks. I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera. On here, hopefully I don't, I wanna make sure I don't get out of focus. Take the concealer. Just see that. And it doesn't have to be perfect and you only need a little bit. You even drag it down a little bit into the scalp area. I mean, I'm sorry, on your forehead a little bit. Then, take a, this brush that I got this brush from Michaels. And the brush looks like this. It's like a flat, regular flat brush. And that's another tip for you too, ladies. If you want makeup brushes, you can all, I mean, use Michaels brushes. I have a few of those. They work great. And always drag it to the part first. And then feather it a little bit because you don't want it to look clumpy at all. Then take the concealer, of course, here, blend it in, or you can use your finger. Then, voila. Now, if for some reason you thought, I think I'm missing a part of it. If for some reason you thought that all oh, this part looks so too wide or whatever, um, you can always you know, take a type of brush and go ahead and just blend that in a little bit so it's not so pronounced. Brush, brush it back down, and voila! Look like it grew out of my scalp. So, another thing too is 
with this here how that's up like that now of course it's down now but who want to be fighting that all day okay so take the brush brush it all down this is such a pretty wig and it's so light take any type of pomade um, this just happened to be perfect edges by cream of nature but again any pomade to do that much it's on a maybe like a dime size rub it on your hand you know, see, it's like that. Then whatever is left on my hand. And see how much better that looks. And then and yeah, so it's been time yeah, take a little bit extra. I want a piece to stick it up like this. Think about these pomades. Um, they don't leave, well, at least not this one. Put me for edges, but I use it for this. It, it doesn't give it an unrealistic shine. If another thing too, like I told you earlier in the last video about, you know, doing that, even if you took pomade and just, if you don't have edges, just take the pomade and do the tuck thing again. A bobby pin here and it look just like hey that's hers so this just a, another tip and I love this wig and my red is back I'm not as red red as I did last time but I'm slowly getting back there but again thank you for watching this video hopefully you like this review again this is Freetress equal invisible L shape part wig and the name of her is kitty and the color o m b r which is ombre burgundy see you next time bye and don't forget be your own kind of beautiful because you are beautiful bye